Hello everyone, this is Tamir Selvi. I'm from South India, Bangalore city and I'm back with some interesting tutorials for you guys. So today's video is going to be all about how to shoot Instagram Reels in a DSLR with 5 basic and simple rules. These rules are basically what I follow personally while shooting Reels for my own Instagram profile. If you want to check out my Reels, go check it out on my profile. This is my Instagram ID. So let me not buff around a lot let's get into the first rule always shoot in portrait mode do not keep your camera in a landscape position because you're not recording content for a youtube channel or something you are recording for reels the dimension of a reel of an instagram reel is 9 is to 16 that's basically rectangle vertically i've seen people shooting it normally in landscape mode and then planning to crop it during editing uh, to 9 is to 16 but that is going to damage your footage quality a lot shooting it in portrait mode is shooting in 9 is to 16 ratio itself so it is going to retain the complete quality that your camera can give you uh, I actually made this mistake and that's when I learned I shouldn't do this again I actually shot a content for my youtube channel it was a travel vlog but a few shots of it was really interesting I had shot it in landscape I just thought I really wanted to put it up on my reels I really edited the 16 is to 9 footage and cropped it to 9 is to 16 and then I checked out the output in my phone. It was miserable. But I didn't have any other go. I, I really posted it on Instagram and the quality was terrible. So that's when I realized I'm never doing this ever in my life again. <laughs> Rule number two. Try not to keep your background plain. You better not try to shoot it in front of a plain wall or something which is plain. Because shooting in DSLR, uh, the main part of it is the depth that you're going to get behind you or in front of you. The blur effect that your camera can perform. Keeping it in a plain background is not going to show the complete speciality of what exactly the blur value is all like. Just keep something. I like to keep fairy lights. You see, I have my old, uh, what do you call this? Uh, gramophone? Am I right? I don't even know the name I just have it anyway so I have kept that as a decoration in my frame and it I think it looks good I believe it looks good I have given it some lighting and I have some uh, fairy lights in the backdrop which has uh, given some nice bokeh effect I guess so just keep something in the background maybe some photo frames or um, a pot a flower pot or something a teddy bear or lights or just just something in the backdrop so that people get to see how blur it is uh, between you and that object in the backdrop. Actually, fairy lights is a good idea to keep it in the backdrop because there's going to be really brilliant bokeh effect and that looks really interesting and beautiful. My favorite, it is. And also, I learned this on my own experience. I made some reels with plain background and uh, I really couldn't spot the depth. Oh, come on, I'm making reels on 5D Mark IV and I'm not able to see the depth. And then I decided to keep something in the backdrop. I, I tried uh, having some fairy lights or something and that looked really good. Rule number three, how do I really plan my shots for a reel? Usually when you're performing a dialogue or something, uh, it's just going to be one single frame and I don't find a problem in it because it's going to be more uh, connective and communicative. Yeah, it's fine to have one single frame, but if you are performing for a song to make it more interesting it is always advisable for you to shift frames let me explain how you get it done so imagine you are going to perform for a song uh, you are going to lip sync and do some dramas and stuff so for that first shoot yourself in a wide frame top to bottom shoot yourself in a wide frame and keep it aside next just zoom in your lens keep a mid shot of yourself and do the same action in in the mid shot as well so you are going to have two frames one in wide and one in mid so when you're going to merge this while editing when you're going to merge this wide and mid and wide and mid this is going to look more like it's going to look more cinematic so always it is advisable for you to take two frames while shooting reels either wide and mid or mid and close up I tried this while I was lip syncing for some songs and it actually uh, worked pretty well. It looked very cinematic and nice. Also when a few people are recording skits, their own drama, their own content, it's always uh, better to keep a close up to yourself when you're emoting something, when you're going to get into deep into emotions or you're going to convey something through your emotions, it's always to keep your frame in a close up. So shift your frames. 
Rule number four, what format do I record these Reels videos in? There is MP4, there is MOV, and there is some blah blah kind of formats in each device. So what exact format do I really shoot in? Advisable, you can shoot it in MP4 or MOV. If you are a person who's going to edit your videos in mobile, preferably mp4 because some mobiles doesn't support movs and if you are editing your reel in your system your pc your laptop or something in a premiere pro or wonder chef film or whatever it is mov would do mp4 would do whatever your system would support can do but if you're going to edit your videos in a mobile phone preferably mp4 you can switch that setting uh, in your camera settings if you don't know how to do that you can youtube it because each device has its own interface i really can't tell exactly how to do that you can just go for example 5d mark 4 how do i uh, switch to dot mp4 in 5d mark 4 if you youtube it there's a lot of tutorials for your own device series so keep your format smart according to how you are going to edit it so coming to the last point which app or software do i edit my reels videos so basically i really wanted to answer this question i edit both in my laptop and my mobile phone so when it comes to my laptop pc or whatever you have of course uh, there is premiere pro there is final cut pro there is this wonder share film and other third party softwares where you can edit your footages Preferably Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro. These uh, these two are more like uh, two major politicians playing around. So uh, it's always these two for a safer side and uh, promising uh, quality. So people who have Mac, of course, have Final Cut Pro. They also have Premiere Pro. And people who have Windows, of course, have Premiere Pro. So go for these softwares. So when it comes to phone, which mobile editing application is the best to edit reels uh, this this question has a major major audience so let me tell you straight i prefer vn video editor so this is not a promotion uh, i know most of you know about vn video editor uh, most of you are using uh, as much as how much people use InShot. there are so many people using vn video editor recently it has become a super hit because this application uh, retains complete quality of your footages it also sharpens your footages it's it's you can render in a better quality. The, the quality is really promising and they also have a lot of transitions, effects, uh, color tone filters and all those stuff. You know, it is really necessary for Reels because Reels is all about drama and some masalas and all of those stuff and everything is available in VN Video Editor. So this is my personal suggestion. You can use VN Video Editor to edit your MP4 DSLR footages for your Reels. So these are the five basic and simple rules you can follow to shoot reels in a DSLR. And if you guys want to check out the reels that I shot in my DSLR, you can go check it out here in my Instagram ID. Recently, I've been uploading reels that I shoot only in my DSLR because that promises a lot of content quality. So that's all folks. Thank you so much for watching my video. And if you found this video to be useful, do like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I've also been making a lot of travel vlogs, previous uh, four videos. Uh, if you have some time, you can go check it out. And uh, what else? Yep, uh, I've told about my Instagram ID. I've told thank you and I have to end this video right now. Bye. <laughs>